y'all it's Betsy with Happily Ever After etc and welcome back to another garden project. So today I'm working on the knockout roses. As you can see they have been blooming profusely ever since we planted them. I am love love loving how they're performing but for as much as they're growing they're getting a little out of shape. So we are supposed to get, you can hear it coming in, a lot of rain this week. Um, and so I have been waiting for a week when it wasn't going to be so scorching in the middle of August to kind of uh, shape them up a little bit. So we're going to come in. I'm going to, of course, deadhead them anywhere that we're not going to be trimming them back. And then we're going to kind of try to shape them into more of a tight ball. I've never done this before. Watch some tip videos. I've asked my mom and everything just says to uh, go for it. So that's what we're going to do. And if it's horrible, then I guess they'll grow back, right? So we're just going to kind of start cutting away things that are outside of our sphere. We want to try to cut a right below joints um, where they can keep branching out and getting bushier. So the other goal is to kind of trim out anything that might be crossing over and restricting airflow inside but we just planted these this summer so we don't really have a lot of that yet so let's go ahead and we're just gonna start cutting and i think like right in here is kind of the height we want so let's go ahead and start there nearly as woolly as that one. pretty good this one branch down here that's kind of going out to the side um, is the main problem and so it's a little lopsided there we'll cut it back we'll see if we can't get it to grow as more of a sphere sometimes it takes a lot of training to get them to stay the shape you want this is only the first time we've ever trimmed them and this one has lots of them they smell so good this inside.
that is all I'm going to do for today. It's not perfect, but I got them back down to a ball kind of shape. And I think the more they grow and we trim them, the grow and we trim them, we'll get stronger branches down in the base here that will form that overall structure. And we won't have to have such wonky shapes after we trim them. But with all the rain we're about to have, they should get a lot of uh, new growth and bounce back in no time. They smell so good. These are yellow knockout roses. Do they have a specific name? The Sunny Knockout Rose. My mom bought me these for my birthday. I love them. So I'm gonna take all the ones with pretty blooms inside and put them in a vase and uh, see how they rebound. But I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.